A pleasant day to all of you. In this video lesson, I am going to discuss Euclidean algorithm. Before we proceed with how Euclidean algorithm works, we recall that the greatest common divisor of two numbers, denoted as GCD A and B, is the largest number that divides A and B, evenly with no remainder. For example, the GCD of 10 and 20 is equal to 10, and the GCD of 72 and 108 is equal to 36. Previously, we know a method to find the GCD that involved multiplying the prime factors that both numbers had in common. This method is inefficient for finding the greatest common divisor of larger numbers since it is harder to factor numbers with larger prime factors. However, there is a well-known method known as the Euclidean algorithm that will allow us to find the greatest common divisor of larger numbers which we will be discussing next. The Euclidean algorithm makes repeated use of the division algorithm Define the greatest common divisor of two positive integers. Euclid the Euclidean algorithm to find GCD A and B relies upon replacing one of A or B with the remainder after division. Thus, the numbers we seek, the GCD, of are steadily becoming smaller and smaller. We stop when the remainder becomes zero. Specifically, we assume that A is larger than B. If B is larger than A, then we swap them around so that A becomes the old B and B becomes the old A. We then look for numbers Q for quotient and R for remainder so that A is equals to B times quotient plus remainder. They must have the properties that quotient is greater than or equal to zero and zero is less than or equal to the remainder less than b. In other words, we seek the largest quotient. So let's have example number one. Find the GCD of 3084 and 1424. We will still be using the same statement. A is equals to b times the quotient plus the remainder. So let's have a is equals to 3084 and b is equals to 1424. Step 1. We need to divide 3084 divided 1424 with the quotient 2 and remainder 236. Second step. We'll have the new A, which is 1424, and the new B, 236. So 1424 divided 236, the answer or the quotient is 6 with the remainder A. We'll have again the new A and the new B. New A is 236 and the new B is equals to 8. So we then divide 236 divided 8 with the quotient 29 and the remainder 4. So we go to the next step. The new value of A is 8 and the new value of B is 4. So 8 divided 4, the quotient is 2 with the remainder 0. So remember, just like what I said earlier, once the remainder becomes 0, we need to look for the number or for the remainder before 0. Hence, the GCD of 3084 and 1424 is equals to 4. Let's have example number 2. Find the GCD of 120 and 85. So we will still be using the same statement. A is equals to B times the quotient plus the remainder. So A is equals to 120 and B is equals to 85. So let's do again step 1. 120 divided 85. The quotient is 1 with the remainder 35. Let's have the new value of A and B. The new value of A is 85 and the new value of B is 35. So 85 divided 35, quotient will be 2 with the remainder 15. 
Next step is the new value again of A and B, which is A is equals to 35 and B is equals to 15. So 35 divided 15, the answer is 2 or the quotient is 2 with the remainder 5. So the last step is the new value of A is now 15 with the new value B, which is 5. So 15 divided 5, the quotient is 3 with the remainder 0. Again, once the remainder becomes zero, we then stop and look for the last remainder, which is non-zero. Hence, the GCD of 120 and 85 is 5. Let's have the last example. Find the GCD of 287 and 91. So still the same statement, A is equals to B times the quotient plus the remainder. So we'll have the value of A is 287, the value of B is 91. So let's have the first step again, 287 divided 91, quotient is 3 with the remainder 14. So we'll have the new value of A and B, A is equals to 91 and B is equals to 14. We now divide 91 divided 14, the quotient will be 6 with the remainder 7. So we'll have the new A as 14 and B is equals to 7. So we then divide 14 divided 7. The answer or the quotient is 2 with the remainder 0. So we stop once the remainder becomes 0. So and look for the last non-zero remainder which is 7. Hence, the GCD of 287 and 91 is equals to 7. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from this video lesson. Bye-bye.